breakfast. Want well, to get back to our uh, story from the top of the broadcast? There are plans in the King community a black diamond to begin mining and blasting for coal. Here's King Five's Gary Chittam. The only thing making noise at the John Henry coal mine these days are the raindrops. But after 15 years in mothballs, this mine could be up and running in a matter of months. Uh, the blasting noise is going to be upsetting for people who live in the area to hear that. Dennis Richardson got used to the blasting back in the 1980s when the John Henry mine was rocking. He got used to all the noise, the dust and the traffic. What bothers him now is something more serious. Uh, our concern, of course, is we're on a well and there's an aquifer here. The mining company's application calls for pulling 700,000 tons of coal out of an untapped seam at the mine and shipping it to, among other places, downtown Seattle. Ashgrove cement officials confirm the company has an agreement to buy coal from the John Henry mine. Ashgrove has an active permit to burn coal to fire its equipment. More of the coal would be shipped north to cement makers in Canada. It's very shocked. None of this sits well with the environmental group that discovered the plans to restart the mine. Everyone in King County, everyone in Washington State should have a chance to grow up and be healthy. Should have a chance to not have their asthma exacerbated. Pacific Coast Coal, the company that owns John Henry, did not return our calls. The company has reached out to neighbors, offering to inspect their homes before the blasting starts so they can confirm if any damage might occur.